10 cryptocurrency coins that I think will easily 10x. This is what we're talking about in today's video and we have been tracking my public portfolio here on the channel for many moons now and we have been doing extremely well. So we're going to be breaking that portfolio down, how we've done, what I'm thinking about this portfolio, how I'm going to act with it and also one cryptocurrency that I am adding to it. Remember this cryptocurrency portfolio is built up with projects I believe have very strong communities behind them. Please tell me any community that you believe is extremely strong like these ones in this portfolio. I'm not talking about some meme coin that came out yesterday that has a couple of hundred people. I'm talking about thousands and thousands of dedicated fans to a crypto because that is what I'm basing this thesis on for this portfolio. I plan to take this portfolio to around $100,000 in the bull market by dollar cost averaging into these projects. And I am also, while we're speculating as to whether or not strong community tokens will bring huge gains, I'm also trying to prove that dollar cost averaging is the way to go about it. This is how I actually build my portfolios. And of course, as you know, I am not a financial advisor, so never base any of your financial decisions, just like it says all right there on any of my videos. All right. So today we have the portfolio. It sits at $6,700 and it's been an incredible ride. We've made over $3,600 on this portfolio in the last couple of months. We built this portfolio since May. And yes, some of you might go just like you did in the last video. Well, Connor, you started this just before the bull run happened. So of course you're going to make money on anything you invest in. And yes, yes, exactly. That is exactly my point. I was investing into crypto when everyone else was saying that it was total nonsense. That is what differentiates you from the rest of the market. And of course, if you dollar cost average in a bear market, the price go up in a bull market, which is exactly what we're seeing. And we're seeing the fruits of our labor. With that said, guys, I do want to actually start another portfolio for meme coins because I do think meme coins are going to have something. Of course, I would like to start it with probably Dogecoin, Shiba and Pepe as those are the big dogs. But let me know in the comment section as well if you guys know of any meme coins you believe are going to do very, very well in the next bull run. Now, if we jump back here, we can see if we scroll down our projects. I want to add to some of these and I also want to add a new crypto, which we'll get to in a second. So of course, the biggest return, which has been absolutely wild, is Casper, up 700%. Now, how did I find Casper and know this was going to pump? Well, I'm not here to tell you that I knew anything was going to pump because I don't know what's going to pump. I think out there, in this space of YouTube, I am one of the only guys, I know there are a few others that I hold dear to my heart, but there are not that many that honestly are in the trenches with you guys. I do not believe that I know any better than anyone else. I have just spent time in this market and understand the ebbs and flows of the market. And I am always transparent with you guys. When I buy, I tell you. When I sell, I tell you. With that said, I didn't know Casper was going to go up. What I did know was that the community behind it was incredible. Over on Twitter, I noticed an anomaly, an anomaly with the ticker CAS, the absolute insane engagement for this. It was wild. This is something that I would highly suggest you go out and do right now. Find cryptos that have absolutely wild engagement on their posts. Even if you have a small Twitter account, play with it dabble in it, post things about Casper, post things about a crypto that you find, see if it gains traction. If it gains traction, it means there is a lot of eyeballs and Casper was the anomaly a few months ago. It still is now, but a few months ago, it was pretty much the standout. On my uh, page, it was getting the most amount of engagement on my Twitter. So that is why, because of this portfolio, I decided to add to it. Again, this portfolio is all about community. So having that knowledge, we knew it was, an incre it was crazy engagement. Interestingly, there wasn't that much engagement over on YouTube, which in my head tells me if it's on Twitter, but not on YouTube, 
very popular on Twitter, not popular on YouTube. It probably means that we're very early stage. Now, not the very starting stage. Of course, there were people on Twitter who got it super early. But we are probably at the start of the parabolic curve because people on Twitter are normally more degen. They normally do more research. And with that information, we can then transfer it to YouTube. If there's a huge community on Twitter, but not a huge community on YouTube, it's probably going to come. It's probably going to arrive, and when it does arrive, it's going to be insane. Now it has arrived, 700%. So go out and find the next one of these. That's what I'm going to be looking for, and of course I will be telling you. And if we do scroll down to the rest of this portfolio, we have Cardano, that is up 28%. We have Gala, which is up 70% since we got it. Now, the reason why I got Gala was because I believed it was unfairly beaten down because of the debacle between the two founders, right? This is another thing we want to find. We want to find projects that are still building but have been unfairly beaten down. This is how I knew to start buying Solana. Didn't know it wasn't going to go down further, but as you know, if you've been watching this channel, I caught over a 3x of Solana since my most recent buy, and that was because I believed it was unfairly beaten down because of FTX. So that is something that I follow and watch very closely. If there's something going on with an altcoin and everyone's like, yeah, because of this, it's going down. The example, Gala and the founders. Another example, Solana and FTX dumping the tokens. A little bit of research into FTX dumping the tokens would have told you that they couldn't physically dump the tokens. So I believed it was unfairly beaten down and that's why I was buying it here on this channel. Now, the next one up from there is, what have we got? We got ICP. Another project way beaten down. The old all-time high, I think, was $400, which is absolutely nuts, right? I don't think it's going to get back there. But I did want to add that to the portfolio because I believe that it can do well. What they're building is very interesting. Now, our next competitors just behind that, we got Cardano, XRP, Jasmine Coin, Stella, and Quant. Hedera, not doing very well at all. In fact, the lowest and worst performer in this portfolio. Now, I want to add to this portfolio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add to the worst performers in this portfolio, giving us a better price. So I'm gonna add to HBAR. So we're gonna buy 1,650 Hedera. I wanna also buy some Quant. I'm gonna buy some Quant here, and we're gonna buy just one single Quant. Now, I do want to add Jasmine because I believe that the Japanese narrative is going to be huge. I think they are very pro crypto. So I'm adding 21,000 Jasmine coins to this portfolio. And finally, I'm also going to add some Gala just because it is a very small position in my portfolio. And we're going to add 4,100 tokens to the portfolio. So there we have it. We have added to the portfolio. And what is the crypto that I want to add next? We're going to do it now. We're going to buy just $100 because it is, in fact, up quite a lot here. So I'm going to add TAO, BitTensor. Now, this is hitting on the narrative of AI, and I'm going to buy one token for $262. Now, this is a bigger transaction than we've done before, but I do want a whole BitTensor token. Currently, Currently, they sit at a market cap of 1.3 billion. This is a big market cap. It could significantly come down from here. That is why I would like to dollar cost average into it. If we drop from where we are now down, I will dollar cost average into this project. They are one of the biggest AI narrative plays. I think AI is going to do very well. And I see a lot of talk about BitTensor. If we head over to YouTube, we can see big cryptocurrency YouTubers talking about BitTensor here. We got my boy here, Smart Money Crypto. Definitely check him out. And we also have Crypto Banter talking about BitTensor in one of their live streams just the other day. So I think that it will be a good addition to this portfolio. But do let me know what you think down there in the comment section. Of course, I am fine if this portfolio drops. I will dollar cost average into this. I, as you know, have been expecting a Black Swan event. Binance's CEO, CZ, stood down recently and accepted a fine and admitted to wrongdoing. All right? 
this could be the start of something. However, the cryptocurrency markets are being extremely resilient, which is great to see. This could also indicate that actually the tides have shifted and the market doesn't care about bad news as we are in a bull run. Just like the market doesn't care about good news when we're in a bear market. We talked about this time in, time out. When good stuff came out in the bear market, no one cared. Same thing, similar thing is happening right now, which could be an indication that we are back in a bull run. With that said, guys, all of the exchanges that I use are down there in my description. If you do wanna support the channel, you can support it simply by smashing that subscribe button. Hopefully I've provided some value and hopefully you got some huge gains here by just simply following the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.